I welcome you all to today's video. Today, we will have a run through on alternative fuels. The future of fuel industry. First let us see what alternative fuel is. Any fuel other than petroleum or diesel is an alternative fuel. According to Energy Policy Act 1992, the following fuels are defined as alternative fuels. Ethanol, electricity, hydrogen, natural gas, propane, biodiesel, methanol and P-series fuel. Most of these fuels can be easily produced. Alternative fuels emit less greenhouse gases. As a result pollution levels decrease. Now we will see why the world requires alternative fuels. There are several reasons for us to go for alternative fuels because Conventional fuels will someday run out To reduce pollution and global warming To save money Can reuse waste More choices Can be produced domestically And fuel economy Though all these are the reason for engineers to develop alternative fuels the first two reasons are the most important. The following are the types of alternative fuels. Ethanol Electricity Hydrogen Natural gas Propane Biodiesel Methanol and P-series fuel Let us go through each type of alternative fuel briefly. Ethanol is an alcohol-based fuel made by fermenting and distilling crops such as corn, barley or wheat. It can be blended with gasoline to increase octane levels and improve emissions quality. Now let us see how ethanol is produced. At first the corn is milled and then sent for saccharification where complex carbohydrates break down into basic units. Later the saccharified product is sent for fermentation. Fermentation is the chemical breakdown of substances by bacteria or yeast. Then comes the distillation process. It is a process that separates components of mixture at different boiling points. After all these steps are completed, we get ethanol as the final product. This is then used as a fuel. Electricity can be used as a transportation alternative fuel for battery-powered electric and fuel cell vehicles. Battery-powered electric vehicles store power in batteries that are recharged by plugging the vehicle into a standard electrical source. This type of fuel and transportation is highly effective. The combination of oxygen from the air and water through electricity produce hydrogen fuel cell. Sufficient electricity can be produced to power electric vehicle when hydrogen and oxygen from the air are fed into the proton exchange membrane fuel cell stack. Enough electricity can be produced to power electric vehicles. Natural gas, a fossil fuel composed of mostly methane, is one of the cleanest burning alternative fuels. It can be used in the form of compressed natural gas or liquefied natural gas to fuel cars and trucks. This is how the natural gas is produced and delivered. Propane is a common fuel for many small appliances such as lanterns, but recently has been thought of to use as an alternative fuel for vehicles. Propane is also known as liquid petroleum gas. It is made up of about 90% propane, about 2.5% butane and other hydrocarbons. And the rest is ethane and propylene. We get propane as a byproduct of natural gas refining. It is a very popular choice as an alternative fuel because the processing facilities, pipelines, and storage facilities already exist. Also, it is readily accessible to the public. Biodiesel fuel can be produced from a variety of natural crops including rapeseed, soybean, mustard, flax, sunflower, canola, palm oil, hemp, jatropha and waste vegetable oils. 
This fuel source is said to reduce engine wear and produce less harmful emissions. Biodiesel is used as an alternative fuel source, but requires engine modifications. In the biodiesel cycle the crude vegetable oil is extracted from the seeds and then it is refined. Later transess terrification is done. As a result we get biodiesel and glycerol as products. The biodiesel is then used to power vehicles. Methanol is an alcohol-based fuel. At present M85 is being used, which is 85% methanol and 15% gasoline. Methanol is created from synthesis gas, which is reacted in the presence of a catalyst. Methanol can also be produced from coal and biomass. In future neat methanol that is M100 may also be used. P-Series is a relatively new alternative fuel. It is a blend of natural gas liquids, ethanol, and biomass extracts. It has significant emissions benefits over gasoline, the greenhouse emissions are about 50% lower than that of gasoline. The use of P-Series would also reduce fossil fuel energy used by 49-57%. to 57%. As well petroleum used by 80%. P-Series comes almost completely from domestic renewable sources. Already major companies such as Dodge and Ford have begun making models that support. The Saffonian is a bladeless wind turbine. It imitates bird's wing. This bladeless turbine is cheaper than traditional blades. It also does not interfere with magnetic or radar waves. It is bird friendly too. A battery developing company has said that it can extend the range of the battery to 75 miles per charge. Its battery operates on physical chemistry principles. It is entirely made up of carbon and plastics. Eco capsule is a type of micro housing pod. It can house two people for a year. It has kitchen, bathroom and storage space. The capsule is powered by solar cell and wind turbine. Home biogas turns food scrap into gas. Bacteria digests the waste. It can take up to 6 liters of water per day and produce 3 hours of cooking gas. With this we come to the end of today's video. Hope at least few of you have learned something new today. Kindly subscribe to the channel and keep supporting. Until next time it's bye from DRM.